More than a year after the godfather of Gogo's death, the district officials are working to keep his memory alive. Chuck Brown Park will soon be a reality. Whitney Wilde was at the groundbreaking today. For decades, it was the beat that didn't stop. Now, on what would have been Chuck Brown's 77th birthday, the godfather of Gogo is remembered. To honor that. They honor my father. It means everything. This is his birthday, so it was like emotional, excited. It's a great thing. We we really honored that they're doing this for my dad. Three, two, one. At a ceremonial groundbreaking in Northeast, Mayor Gray and members of Brown's family unveiled official plans for the soon to come Chuck Brown Memorial. Oh, it's absolutely uh, extraordinary. I mean, I knew Chuck Brown. Chuck Brown was a friend of mine. And uh, what a sad day it was when Chuck passed away. And to keep his memory alive, the park will have artistic renderings of the godfather of Gogo, -Go, sculptures, and musical instruments. Officials say it's a way for families to connect through the legend's music, and no one knows that better than the Taylors. It's very special. It gives the kids somewhere to go and play that's nice and beautiful and represents someone that they can reflect on. Special, but not without controversy. Original plans called for an amphitheater, but pressure from neighbors squashed the idea. Even the small structure here today will be raised to make way for the memorial wall. It don't matter to us. We just, as long as we, you know, we know the people love him, so we love y'all for doing anything for him. And we thank the fans because that's what he loved the most, the fans. Commemorating the influence Chuck Brown had on his hometown and the impact the district had on him. On what would have been Chuck Brown's 77th birthday, as well as what is now officially Chuck Brown Day, members of Brown's family join Mayor Gray for a ceremonial groundbreaking right here at Langdon Park. Big changes coming here to commemorate the Go-Go Godfather. Some of those changes include an interactive drum area for children, as well as artistic renderings throughout the park. Now, it all comes at a price tag of a million dollars, and officials hope to have it finished by this time next year. In the district, Whitney Wild, News Channel 8.